Humanities Institute, the respectable worthy professor from France has taken the trouble of coming over to me and to have a talk about Islam. It is very kind of them. Uh, I think it would be better if you themselves introduce what we are. I am Jib Bortilanu, professor of uh, Arabic and uh, of, um, the Arabic language and civilization in Aix Provence in France. And uh, I would like to ask uh, uh, Alama uh, Ahmad, uh, Ahmad Tardi about uh, what uh, he means. Uh, but I, I would like to speak Arabic uh, because I am uh, I prefer to uh, speak Arabic. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, Jean-Paul Charmet, uh, professeur de l'Université of Paris, uh, Sorbonne, et Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique à Paris. Jean-Paul Zaha, I'm a research scholar at the National Scientific Research Center in France and uh, at present uh, visiting professor at uh, Princeton University, USA. Eric, fellow researcher at the Center for Art Studios uh, on uh, Contemporary Mediality in Saint uh, Provence. Uh, Eugène Chauffeur, uh, professor in uh, at Paris University and director of uh, the Institute of Legal Science and Development in Paris. عبد المجيد تركي أستاذ وباحث بدويس جامعة السربون في المركز الوطني للبحث العلمي. How did they come to know about me? Uh, they have uh, uh, and uh, some of the uh, things that already the center. Okay. They have read about you. I see. Yes. That's all right. So I need not have my <laughs> introduction. I'm a humble student of Quran. I have devoted my life for this purpose. There is a missionary organization of mine. The purpose is only to suppress the thinking and the thinking of the Quran, what I do. That's all what I mean to say. Now, it will be some questions you will be prepared to put and I will give the answer here yeah. to Yes. Yes. Very kind of you. It was a great talk to me, no doubt, a young boy, and suddenly he died, only three, 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 three months back, so kind of you to have controlled the life back then. Thank you so much. Let us pray to God for himself, for him this time. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Yes. Now, the question. حضرت العالم الجليل أن نستطيع أن نلقي على جنابكم هذا السؤال. هل هناك صعوبات تعترض سبيل الباكستاني المسلم في حياته المعاصرة؟ أنا 
Can anybody explain in English what I have understood is something else, but it will be better to do? Yes, I could uh, translate it in, into English. Uh, is uh, from a uh, difficult place for the Islamic citizen, for the Pakistani uh, citizens uh, uh, who, uh, who is um, of course a Muslim and he is uh, living uh, Islamic life in Pakistan, in, uh, in, Pakistan, in Pakistan today. What are the difficulties of Did you say the first question put to me as I have to be able to understand and this gentleman has translated it is that what is the difficulty for a citizen or Muslim citizen of Pakistan to live his life according to Islam? That's it. Yeah, the first thing is to define and understand what is meant by Islam and Islamic life. That is the first question. If that is settled or understood, then it will be possible to proceed further to see whether the citizens of Muslim citizens of Pakistan are leading the life according to Islam or not. And if not, what are the difficulties? And how those difficulties can be removed? So the first and the foremost and the fundamental question is, what is meant by Islam? And when we say it is Islamic or it is un-Islamic, or what is the criterion for that? What is the standard to just to say one thing it is Islamic and the other it is non-Islamic? There must be a line of demarcation between the two. So that is the first thing. Am I correct? That must be understood first. What is Islam and what is Islamic life? The first thing is that generally we take Islam as a religion. One of the religions of the world. Not only non-Muslims, even Muslims also. And therefore we come proud that it is the best religion of the world. That's all what the Muslims talk about. But still they treat it as a religion. They also consider it as a religion. Generally I'm saying But Islam is not a religion. That is the first and the foremost thing where I deviate from others. Or where Quran deviates from the general conception of religion or Islam as a religion. Islam is not a religion. Perhaps you will be surprised to hear that the title of my book in English, and that is the only book I have written in English, the title is Islam, a challenge to religion. Not only that it is not a religion, it is a challenge to religion. Religion is some sort of subjective experience or some sort of man's relation with God, which is an abstract term. Everybody can satisfy himself saying that I have got some relation with God. And then there are some forms of worship or prayer or something like that. But the objective, ultimate objective, to have some relation with God or to have the, to attain the individual salvation of man or have some subjective feelings, some emotions, that is religion. According to this definition, accepting Islam or religions are religions, no doubt. 